I wanted to make a video on my pickup. I just finished the manual swap. It's automatic before V6. I just did the, the manual swap. I wanted to quickly go over um, that. It's the first manual swap I've ever done. Um, and given that there's not a ton of wiring on these trucks and cars and uh, four runners, it is pretty easy. Basically, all you need is the manual pedal assembly, obviously transmission, shifters. I don't have a brake pedal pad yet. I had a good donor vehicle to get some parts off of. I got the uh, five speed from a forerunner. I got the pedals from a forerunner. I bought a brand new ASIN clutch kit and flywheel, a Lux flywheel off Rock Auto. I bought a brand new ASIN slave off Rock Auto. The master and reservoir was pretty new looking. It was also ASIN, but that was off the parts truck. The shifters and boots were all off where I got the other parts truck where I got the tranny from. Hard line and soft line from the part truck. Still haven't cleaned up all where I drilled, as you can see. Just got to drill a little hole, mount this, mount the pedals behind there. It's really easy. Uh, just common hand tools, 3 8 ratchets, maybe even quarter inch if you need it, and a bunch of different extensions. The hard line routes up behind and down on the soft line here the soft line drops down where my fingers pointing to a smaller hard line that goes to the slave and then there's the stick shift that's the transfer case front drive shaft grease that all up I did get a manual drive shaft from a manual pickup because the automatic was uh, two inches shorter there or two inches longer the tranny was two inches longer therefore the manual drive shafts two inches longer because the, sh the manual transmission is shorter so I wanted better engagement on all my splines and uh, you know there's all the grease on the axle that flew back after we greased it uh, yeah hardest part for me was just figuring out a lot of the auto stuff when I was pulling it out. Here's a lot of the automatic wiring that's left over. So I'm gonna quickly go over that. So I'll cut this video, I'll get a little bit more set up and then we will go over the wiring. So I'm gonna shoot this in wide angle. This plug goes to the passenger side. Well, it comes from the passenger side and it goes to the passenger side of the automatic tranny. Around this area, it'll be a ratchet mechanism, and that is what some of the shift linkage connects to, and that is your main shift rat, or your main park, neutral, reverse, drive, low shift rasher. And as you can see, zoom in for you, I looked at a a factory service manual from a PDF that some guy did a big write-up on and I also read some forums that say these two thick black wires black and yellow and I believe solid black those are your neutral or park safety wires so when the shifter is in park or neutral it's an automatic shifter it'll cross these wires and tell the ECU that it's okay to start we need to take these wires and either cross them, loop them in some way to tell the automatic ECU, because we're doing a manual swap and keeping the automatic ECU, we need to loop these wires in some way, whether you use a switch as a kill switch, which I did, um, you didn't hear that from me, or what other people do is somehow loop them up there, or, not, or on the, the truck side, 
to tell the auto ECU that is in neutral because it no longer has a reading from the transmission, of course. And that way, your truck will start and idle and that ECU will be all okay. There's also two more wires on my plug. I really think you should double check all your wiring because stuff changes, models are different, etc. But these two wires, if we look at the plug from this side, there's where the two black wires would be, the top middle, and then the top right, bottom left, would be these. These are my reverse wires. Um, I think it was like a, a black and then a pink and red. So, those wires go to here because that's the bell housing. On the passenger side of an R150F, this is your reverse switch. You'll notice that when you look at your tranny under the truck, there's gonna be shifters up there, and the, this is the five-speed side. That's the transfer case side. So obviously any switches on the transfer case side wouldn't have anything to do with your reverse lights because they're on the transfer case. And this also, in my opinion, makes sense because reverse is passenger side back and the switch is on the passenger side. Anyways, this is just an open close switch. So what I did was I found the reverse wires in the automatic, cut these from the plug side, took them, splice them into that connector. I actually got this connector from the, the wrecking yard because originally it was just the plug, but I found a, a manual truck. Thankfully there was only one there and it still had all the harness. So I found, did some splicing and yeah, it's a little ugly, um, but that's okay. So we have reverse and the truck starts. So. That's all. Oh, and my Speedo. One thing I had was the electronic Speedo, which I was lucky with. That was plug and play from the automatic to the manual. It's just a three three prong plug on the tail shaft of the of the transfer case, and it just plugs right in. You'll notice your O2 sensor wiring goes over and down across the cross member to the O2 sensor over there. Now the last thing which I really messed up with, is the transfer case wiring. So long story short, I'm still figuring out the transfer case wiring, but basically on the manual, there is a switch that goes to the transfer case up there, and that is an open close switch. When it's in too high, it's open. When it's in four high or four low, it closes and creates uh, closes these pins. So since I don't have uh, manual hubs, I have the ADD circuit. So basically I have to figure out which wires from I believe this plug I need to actuate the four wheel drive relay to actuate the, the front diff and the light. I got the wires wrong, so don't look at this, but if you ohm them out and figure it out, that's all you need. I ended up using a power probe while the truck was running and sent power back through these plugs trying to find the four wheel drive relay. And doing so, I fried my ECU. Um, yeah. So I found a same part number ECU. Uh, so the truck is fully functioning two wheel drive no check engine lights, speedometer works, it's 10, mile, 10 kilometer an hour off. I think that's for my tire size. Um, yeah, everything works, except for four wheel drive, which I'm figuring out. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I'll try and keep this video under 10 minutes. I tend to babble, but yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll do more videos on this truck soon, especially once I figure out the four wheel drive wiring, I'll make either just a YouTube short or, or like a quick, quick video explaining that.
So thanks.